47 years later, to my astonishment, we're back in the same spot. We've got a president, a vice president, a cabinet, and the leadership of both houses of Congress who are all climate deniers. They are scrubbing climate change from federal websites and ordering federal employees not to use the words global warming in any communication. This, this is not conservative politics. This is the Inquisition gunning for Galileo. It's now crystal clear that the man who lives right there did not come here to drain the swamp. He's filling the swamp to overflowing with conflicts of interest, with a White House that reeks of greed and sleaze and mendacity. America has had 45 presidents, but we have never before had a president who was completely indifferent to the truth. Donald Trump makes Richard Nixon look like Diogenes. <laughs> we are racing now toward a climate cliff and our coal-loving president is punching the accelerator. And so millions of us are marching across America and around the world. Our job is clear. Today is the first step in a long-term battle for scientific integrity, a battle for transparency, a battle for survival. So don't leave here thinking that you came out in the rain, all of you, this awesome crowd, standing in the rain, freezing and thinking, now you've done your part. Because you haven't, not yet. Like, like that first Earth Day, this Earth Day is just the beginning. And in that battle, losing is not an option, because if we lose this fight, we will pass on a desolate, impoverished planet for the next 100 generations. I'm old enough that I can remember when people all over the earth saw America as the world's best hope. Today, right here, right now, all of you, let's commit ourselves to becoming the world's best hope again. Dennis Hayes, everyone. Our next speaker is an 